Shocking Grader. Today I'm going to teach you how to subtract mixed number fractions where you need to borrow from the whole number. So now we have 4 and 3 eighths minus 1 and 3 fourths. Well, let's look at the fraction section. What do you notice? Well, they don't have a common denominator. What is a denominator? Well, in a fraction, a denominator is the bottom number of a fraction, like 4. But what is a common denominator? Well, a common denominator is when you have two or more fractions that share the same denominator. Like for example, 3 eighths and 3 fourths. They don't have a common denominator. So we need to make one. How? Well, you have to multiply 3 fourths times 2 over 2. Because 4 times 2 would be 8. 8 is equal to 8. Well, now that I write that down, now we multiply. 3 times 2 equals 6. And 4 times 2 equals 8. So as, as I was saying earlier, 8 is equal to 8, right? Check. Now let's look at the other fraction and 6 8. What do you notice? Well, you can't subtract 3 minus 6 or 3 8 minus 6 8 because 3 minus 6 would be negative 3. But you want a positive something, so you have to make a number that is bigger than 3 and bigger than 6. So you can subtract. Well, to do that, we might have to borrow from 4. So 4 will become 3. And we can add 3 8 plus 8 over 8. Now that we borrowed 1 from 4, we have to add 8 over 8. But why 8 over 8? Well, in 6 eighths, the denominator is 8. But we needed 1. So it has to be 8 over 8. Okay, let's add. So as you can see here, 3 plus 8 equals 11. We just added the numerators. And we didn't add the denominators because it was a common denominator. So therefore, we came up with 11 over 8. But you see the minus sign? Well, these are like the new fractions, so we have to subtract them. We have 11 eighths minus 6 eighths equals something. Well, let's break it down. 11 minus 6 equals 5. And since they share a common denominator, then our denominator is 8. So we have 5 eighths. But wait a minute. What about the whole numbers? Well, we subtract 3 minus 1, which is 2. Okay, we have 2 and 5 eighths. 4 and 3 eighths minus 1 and 3 fourths equals 2 and 5 eighths. Thank you so much for watching.